before this video starts, if you do find that you've enjoyed it, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Um, I'm going to be doing other Mastermind videos after this September update, but uh, here we go. Hey everybody, it's Jarlaxle. Uh, today's the beginning, well, it's the start of September. We recently had an update on this Tuesday. Changed a lot of things, added a lot of new skills. I covered that in the previous video on all the cosmetics. Uh, being opened at once and looking at all the costumes and all the different skills. And today we're going to dive into Annette and how I've adapted Annette for the survivors and their new skills. Specifically Martin's very powerful flash that can debuff zombies, destroy traps, etc. So, um, my new Annette build is going to consist of these skills. We're going to use Fury to reduce your bioweapon cooldown if you exit early. We're going to use buffs. Greatly enhances the effect of all creature buffs. We're going to use Zombie Apocalypse's uh, creature efficiency. lowers the cost of creature cards by one. We're going to use Tough Zombie Berserker Aura. Specifically because we're going to use that zombie as a way to buff zombies in Area 2. And then we have the Concentrated Enhancer for Area 3. That way we can use that to completely buff up the creatures that we do have in Area 3 and be more efficient about it. Now why I ditched the other way of doing things, which is the cameras, is because you invest a lot of money into that and Martin can just flash it all the way. So I just chose what was vital. And we are, build we are doing a gun net. Now, it is still a monster net as well, but it is definitely more of a gun net. You're only going to use two to three guns in your deck. I am honestly not the best shot when it comes to shooting firearms in this game on a camera. It's just me. You will notice I've short one skill. So let's run through the equipment. So we have large caliber three, greatly increased damage dealt by firearms, the highest of the damage you can get with one piece of equipment. We have resilient skin just to increase the health of our zombies. That way they don't just die instantly from a barrage of shotgun blasts. We have modified gear two. Uh, moderately decrease the time it takes to assemble and disassemble firearms. Why we're choosing that one is because when we use the deck that we use, we need to be able to switch between equipping a gun and switching in and out of using a gun. And it also works on the buffs that you use for your zombies. It's very helpful in that sense. Next we have Fresh Blood 3. Greatly increases t creature's tendency to grab. Now why we have that equipped is we're going to use the zombies and their health to grab survivors and use the guns that we have. And I'll show you how to get them very cheap. Um, against the survivors. So once they're grabbed, once they're incapacitated by what we have in the deck, that's when the large caliber kicks in and it combines with the zombie bite as well as your gunfire to create a very deadly double attack. Um, next, let's go to the deck. There is some fluctuation here. Feel free to choose whichever zombies you feel like would be the best. I chose the Infectious zombie because I found that if a zombie has an infectious aura and you don't have viral canister on it still will infect them pretty good Just even being around uh, the other zombies will infect them more and it also will stack with that perk greatly increased enhancements uh, Next we have I chose the dealer just because of the tackling effect they can sprint Randomly, the AI will make them sprint and attack and, and bite somebody, and that's a perfect time to shoot at them while they're getting bit. Uh, next, I chose the Jester, just in case they're trying to run by. The Clown could sometimes scream and stop them. Now, you could easily swap out the uh, the Dealer if you'd like to use the Imposter Zombie instead. That'd be another good option, because if zombie number, this infectious zombie is biting somebody, and then you got the Imposter Zombie swiping at them while you're shooting at them with the gun, there's lots of different potential. You could also control another zombie while the imposter zombie swiping on him. You get my point. So next, let's cover um, 
the trap. The only trap I chose is a lockdown trap. It would be very helpful because they're the combination of what you're using. They're not really going to look at the ground a whole lot. Um, just because you're shooting at them with guns. And they're going to expect you to be playing a monster in that. The new update has increased liquor damage. Uh, and increased liquor health. So they're looking out for that kind of stuff. This is side, side swipes a lot of people. Um, unless it's a January that has the ability to lock your cameras in place. Um, as well as uh, cancel out your EIS. It can be very difficult to deal with jams like that. Um, so next we have our weapons, our guns. We have the efficiency mod firearms. That way these are always going to cost uh, 3, 3, and 2. And what you're going to do is you're going to use this energy booster firearms. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the video where I play against some mid-level anti net looking like Tyrone, Jill, I think it's Valerie, and I can't remember the other person. But they're all built to fight in a net. It's a very good team to fight a net. But not this kind of a net. Um, what you're going to do, your goal is to spawn in uh, all the zombies that you can and hit them with the energy leech. And then once your deck is full of your three weapons and you have this energy booster chilling, you're going to use that and it's going to turn all your weapons, all your guns into one. It's not going to always work out perfectly like that, but it will work out pretty well. And if you hit them with the immobilize the ground or they're being bit by a zombie and you unload on them with that machine gun, or even throw an auto turret down at a different angle while you call in Birkin, you can insta down um, a player easy with that combination, especially if they decide to go off on their own. So. Going back over here, we have the creature efficiency card lowers the creature cost by one. Because we want to have enough creatures in the game. And you got to know when to stop spawning them. Because they'll just get killed. So all my creatures are going to cost two minus the, the clown. He's going to cost uh, three. But you got to know when to stop spawning them in. And now my presets are still predominantly all monster. So, uh, for example, when we get to area three, I can hit them all with the concentration around spawning all the zombies I got concentration around them and then work on the firearms um, we have Birkin so we can bail early because um, sometimes you get into situations where it sounds like a good idea to call Birkin in to kill all your zombies and then you're just playing you know chasing them around the table in downtown area too and it's very frustrating so um, I'm gonna cut it here I'm compilating a video through share factory if pieces of it cut out i apologize that's just how share factory does sometimes it's really annoying what you're gonna see is um a video of the um, original amusement park against a bunch of mid-level characters um, that have everything unlocked and then from there it's a kind of a mixed bag of survivors but i just wanted to include more uh, variety and just how i spawn zombies in but the first match is a little bit longer but it's a very balanced team but anyways i'm gonna cut that here and we'll get straight into the video not working lo siento pero debo hacer oh. Yo también estoy atrapada. I told almost too many guns, to be honest. Activarlo es un desperdicio de tiempo. This is kind of a weird start. I was hoping I'd have one creature to just roll with at the beginning, but you know if I'm hoping Valerie or somebody decides to run off on their own on a side quest. That would just make me so happy, but looks like they're gonna go this way first, which is totally alright. No so I'm gonna go ahead and lock this door. I'm gonna slap this auto turret in here. So torn. I'm torn. Oh. 
Vuestros continuos esfuerzos ponen a toda la humanidad en peligro. Necesito ganar tiempo. Hay que correr. Mierda, cerrada. Okay, we got the crew in here. Ha, take that. Ya te queda poco. Ríndete. I wish they'd add new laughs. Me sorprende que hayáis llegado tan My cat is screaming no for me to feed him. I gotta... I'm gotta. I'm going to feed completo. him during this next match. And then this is going to throw them off because they're going to be expecting guns, you know? Like... Nuestras muertes serán una prueba más. La investigación y sus resultados son demasiado peligrosos para este mundo. Y te No, no my dino. Well, we'll have to do the only proper and right thing you, one can do in this situation. Just to fu fucking run Europe like a madman. You want him so bad, you're gonna have to come get him. Hey! No, none of that shit! Come on! We talked about this! Ayúdame a terminar con esto. You you have to be better by now. Come on. Mientras lucháis, vuestro final está cada vez más próximo. Okay, so they're going to get that room, that's for sure. They can have it. Será más sencillo mataros. Tengo que arreglar esto yo mismo. Blades. We're gonna let this build up a bit. I might set up like a really strong exit. They're gonna get that. 
I need a little bit of time to recuperate. Just so they get a little spooked. Let's turn the lights off. Just a little spooked. Cada paso que da nos acerca más a la muerte. Come on. Sweet, waste your rockets. Mission accomplished. Back. Time to bail. Cuanto más éxito tengáis, mejor información. Recabar. Queda poco. Ríndete. Esto terminará pronto. I don't know. I should maybe save this shit. They're gonna get out of here. It'd be kind of a waste. Plus this energy leech card will come in handy, and if I get a firearm. Plus I can ditch this thing. <laughs> I think this is a good test of this build. I'm not sure if I'm quite gonna win it. I think I am, but I think this is a good first actual test and where I'll modify things. Like I don't think I'm gonna have as many creatures as I normally used to have um, in that area, so. Like these guys, I'm definitely gonna move further out next time. Tenemos que acabar con esta horrible situación. Oh, 
Esto terminará pronto. Tiempo, parar. ¿Alguien ha visto la luz? Dan Dio. She said thank you. Wait, go go back. Go back. Okay. Yeah, do it. Esto no es lo que pretendíamos. This is a true test. They hit that door trap. That means something's off on the game. Yep. That's... Yep. That's like a test for me to see, like, what I'm dealing with. I'm like, all right, they hit the door trap right off the bat, you know? Stay out. <laughs> I'm the gingerbread man and I'm fucking coming. Fijo que luego la lío yo. Nuestros continuos esfuerzos ponen a toda la humanidad en peligro. Ya te queda poco. Rinde otra muerte. Tengo que arreglar esto yo mismo. Leave her alone. No pienso quedarme quieta mientras intentáis usar eso. Run into my door trap, please. Esto os va a flipar. Sí. Creo que con esto será suficiente. Gracias por no luchar con ganas. It's so cute. Martin is dead, dead. No, did he die? Yeah, he died. I'm using a gun in that. Believe it or not. Unhand my dealer. This is what greed gets you, motherfucker! You get bitch slapped and eaten by a zombie. <laughs> you better run. Oh. Step on the trap. Yes. Fuck it. Oh, the coughing. Mm. I love how they're doing it. Nothing. I mean, I don't. I don't blame. <laughs> Going like cut, 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 cut. No es personal. Solo necesito suprimir vuestra existencia. Activarlo es un desperdicio de tiempo y energía. Oh. That price decrease is just so, so nice. Oh, one point. Tyrone, you're gonna wish you'd never left the house. No, <laughs> no creo que vayáis a pasar por aquí. 
Fine then. <laughs> Don't leave your friend. No pienso quedarme quieta mientras intentáis usar eso. Oh, Jan. Yeah, getting.